Tutti Beta. Here, and I'm bringing a really exciting tutorial today about making the vintage effect plus the retro effect. So first of all, choose any picture you want, and now go to down here to the palettes, and let's create a gradient. Okay, now go to check reverse and this tile make sure it's radial and check there okay now in the gradient make sure the second color is white so that's fine and that's all right okay press okay now press okay again and change the blend mode to soft light now we create like dark edges so it's starting to look really good so now go again to the palettes and create a new solid now I'm going to change the color to a, to a light pink and change this, the blend mode to soft light now I'm going to bring the peel a little bit down about mm, 20% and go here again and change the curve and bring the highlights a little bit up and the contrast also a little bit down so go to red and do the exact same thing that's fine do the same thing with the green and in the blue I'm going to pull the edge a little bit up and a little bit down okay that's fine and I'm going to bring, go to the palettes again and go to an rate okay now we're in this tab we're going to choose linear and make sure theater is selected now I'm going to change the color to a nice red press ok now I'm going to create a new color and change it to a nice orange or a yellow. Press OK. Now I'm going to bring the opacity a little bit down. Press OK. Now change the echo. That's right. Press OK. Now change the blending mode to linear touch okay no right click and rasterize layer now I'm going to raise a little bit of the layer so make sure the hardness is about zero percent and start erasing and let's see That's looking fine. I think I'm going to raise a little bit more. So okay, that's good. Now you can okay now I'm going to decrease a little bit the feel and about I think about 60%. Okay, that's fine. Now the next step is going to Google and search textures now I select that one so I copy it and I'm going to create a new layer and paste now I'm going to resize it up hitting command or control T okay that's fine press enter and change the blend mode to soft light and now we create a like, nice effect of the picture so I'm going to bring the opacity a little bit down about 69 or 70 percent and you can select all the layers by hitting command or control and now hit command G and you group them so as you see this is the before and the after and I think it looks really good so if you, if you like the video please comment, rate and subscribe guys for watching my video and have a good day